A major theme of our Democratic Convention has been Build America Back. And we have great objectives in the platform of things that we want to build. We have to have a concrete proposal on board for how we're going to pay for it. This is the one infrastructure bank proposal around that will cover everything. And in addition to that, we'll create 25 million new jobs to hire from among those that are currently unemployed. If you go to the DNC website, uh, you will find the platform uh, has been posted there. And uh, in there, I believe it's around page 17, you'll see several references as to the building or rebuilding of America's infrastructure and the use of an, an infrastructure bank. When I say $4 trillion, their jaw just falls out. And then I want to thank my colleague, Alfeca, who has made it so simple in terms of the common person understanding how this is going to work. Hey, let's just share the excitement of HR 6422. Let's spread the word. Let's get it out there. Let's get this thing going and let's get America going. I just want to loosely quote FDR, Midwest style. The government should provide as much assistance as it does to its citizens, as it does to corporations and banks. And so that's what this House resolution does right here. Not only are we building America, we are investing in American workers. And I'll say it again, and it may get me in a little trouble, but that's all right. If we can invest in a space force, we can invest in a workforce. We have to change the mindset of what these projects cost. Don't think about the money. Think about the betterment of the country. We need to spend this money to get us to the 22nd century for the betterment of the nation as a whole. And we have to start to look at our brothers and sisters that we are their keepers and they are our keepers. And if we're gonna do that at the end of the day, we have to invest in ourselves and be able to invest in each other. Three very important things for business when they relocate is the quality of your education, the quality of your workforce, and the quality of your infrastructure. And this bank takes care of all three of those. One of the things that we can do is educate people as much as we can. I facilitated a number of local Zoom calls and try to engage unions in the discussion because this is going to create so many union jobs and it's a great component of community building. The National Infrastructure Bank allows job security and good paying jobs with benefits so people know that they will have a job with dignity. Um, and it'll also give them uh, training and skills that they, uh, that they can use uh, to prosper in various fields. In addition to being an infrastructure uh, program, it's also a jobs program, which is really needed, especially now.